said. Okay. So we had a good discussion session now, an introduction of yourselves. Uh, online etiquette. Because this will be a hybrid uh, class because uh, coronavirus is <laughs> going higher and higher in Korea. Right. So some of you may not uh, come to class. I hope everybody can come some someday. Anyway, online and offline, we need to have a, it is only for, especially for the online uh, classes, because we did for about two years only online classes. You can use uh, devices, browsers, sound, video, hang on. So you can use many other tools inside the uh, Zoom. Special team devices for menus. And the communication also. <laughs> okay, this one will show you uh, applause and agree. No, and other ideas. So, yes, and also you can use a raising this uh, one for that. Mm -hmm. to stop me and send the questions. Mm -hmm. That's it for the introduction, that's room. Any questions? I can start a uh, regular material for the train. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because, because we have a two textbook. So one semester I start from the new architecture. The other semester start from ocean Also one semester my my lecture first. The other semester student lecture first. Each uh, classroom class hour of ninety or seventy five minutes is divided into three parts. And oh, I did not explain this one before. Oh. Operation. That's all operation. This one. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. Yeah. Yes, so okay. Well, let, let me show this. So I let me explain the objective, test tool, and grading and plus operation. This one is I missed for the slide set. So 75 minutes per day, right? Will be divided into three parts of so 20 minutes. And first one, I do my lecturing. And second will be uh, by students. And then second one will be the discussion. And also discussion needed by our students. There is my uh, professional uh, method here. And first semester, second semester, I switch on starting from Naval architecture or ocean engineering. So this time, start the ocean engineering. And class time will be hybrid, so online and offline. Next up. 
and Jimmy will be stay same for the whole semester. Okay, for all the other and this okay, then as an and then I need to explain the schedule. This one is a tentative schedule for this semester. I started to put your names here, but I know that next Monday is the change of course uh, due, right? So after that, I will, I can fix this. Anyway, today we have uh, this first lesson and course of it. So for, for the first several uh, Weeks, I can do my only uh, lecturing. Then, then we start from say several six or week. Okay. Your classes. The six. Three. So, until here, I have uh, classes. I will do my own classes, but then. We can start from my one and then, oh, here's also the fun. And this question is by me. The kind of type of three slides for a day. Right? This kind of, but it will change it because still I also change my office until next week. So your name can be coming somewhere in here. And then we have uh, three times of product, uh, presentation. One is a uh, proposal presentation. And at the end of fifth week, or tenth. And then there will be, oh, this is special guest lecture. He is coming from uh, shipyard. So he will give you another insight on the industry operation. Hyundai Heavy Industry. He has been working on the company for 30 years. He has a good experience in the heavy industry. And there will be one training exam of midterm. Midterm presentation. Yes, so on the final presentation also. The focus now is uh, has been a Korean Navy. He explain what what is going on with Korean Navy and other topics. There's a rough idea of how the class is operating. And one thing I want to let you know that next Thursday, I have a travel to Seoul city, so that that time there will be only only online. Yes, no open next Thursday. I tell you again. No. Portion in the game. So the book, okay, the left hand side, the test book two. Here's a chapter names of this uh, book. And the green colors are, we will try to cover, but not exactly. The title is similar. So, so view, ocean environment, offshore structure, float, coastal process, materials, and floating submerged body, underwater system, acoustics. And st instrumentation for ocean application, physical modeling, safety, design. Acoustics is very interesting. Yeah. Underwater. Underwater, there is no telephone. Yeah. Because the electromagnetic wave is not going through the ocean. Water. Only way of communication is acoustic sounds. 
That is very interesting. That's why the submarine is a key component for the every name. Because of the acoustic devices, you cannot find enemy submarine well. So underwater, they can stay hidden. That's why, because of that kind of situation, electromagnetic wave, the radar is not working with this. The water, yeah. they, they have a similar acoustic radar, not electromagnetic uh, wave radar. But the accuracy is very low to the electromagnetic radar system. As uh, airplanes are using, right? uh, other things. So communication is very low level underwater. That's why the submarine is important. Yeah. And then, so that underwater acoustic is very important. Ocean. Not only for Navy, but also for the industry. Say, if you want to uh, produce oil and gas, because oil and gas prices are going higher because of Russia and Ukraine wars. Right? And then you need to collect more gas and oil from the ocean. But it takes more money to, to produce. Right? And also it's not easy to, because of the deep water. And then you need to have a communication using acoustic communication and the deep sea ocean exploration. Oil and gas production. Not only Navy, also as an industry. <laughs> so, ocean is less unexplored frontier. Coverage area 70% surface, water almost. And, and then unexplored. Many uh, ocean experts are saying that human kind is more exploring space than ocean. And they are saying it. And then also depths, recreational divers, all uh, about up to 30 meters. Uh, technical diver limit is human human body up to around 15 meters. And saturation dive is with your special devices. And you can go on to up to more. And then average depth of ocean, deepest trench. See, for the Korean student, the several ship is sink, right? And sink depths around is a little bit more than 30 meters. That's why the divers has a difficulty to collect or, or investigate the ship. And then it is about, depending on the uh, length, it is between 30 and 40 depths. That's why the divers very has a tough time there. Ten ocean again. Okay. Trade world trade is ninety percent trade by ocean going ships, and for the Koreans more higher. Right? But this percentage coming by weight rather than probably cost or price, because more and more cars are transported through the airplane nowadays. Well, you imagine, uh, imagine that the cargo or air flight is very light and expensive. And then say coal and also oil, crude oil. You cannot carry crude oil through the airplane. Right? That's why this should be counted by weight. Tons, tons, rather than price. Let's see what ties up. Well, two point is broken. Let's see. 
lime products, protein, right? So fish production is getting growing. I know that because if you want to get uh, one kilogram of protein through, say, land based animal uh, cultivation, comparing to the one kilogram protein coming from ocean. No, no, no. Yes, product price or feeding, feeding is they are saying six times greater because in ocean there are natural food there for the fish, so you, you don't need to give them much. Yeah. And then ninety percent of the penny and oil, one third of oil is coming. From. Let's see this video, it's an interesting video. I hope this is working to people in the room. Yes. It's a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. copy this one then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is a uh, ocean surface movement, right? Somebody are saying, uh, is a state of uh, hydrodynamics of motion, ocean hydrodynamics of motion. So surface water movement around the Earth. And I heard that NASA people collected all the satellite images from time, and then they stitch up images to make this video. Around your country or continent, I am interested in current sea current around Korean Peninsula. This is pretty, right? Eh? We'll see you next time again. Okay. Right. Any questions? Right. So, what is machine engineering? This is a uh, application. Or engineering principles. So every any engineering principle, all the engineering principles to apply to the water environment, such as ocean, lake, and rivers. Application goes to the analysis, design, development, and management of systems. So the United displays are naval architecture. So navy, navy, navy architecture. What is architecture? Architecture. You know, what is architecture? What is architecture? Um, drawing, the plane or 
And then when you you build the buildings, when you build buildings, buildings, yes, yes. Things that did not want architecture, usually in the engineering school or as architect is designing building house. Architecture, architect, yes, sir. architect, architect. So, building, house, designer is an architect, and architecture is a technology engineering domain or uh, art domain. Yeah. Uh, study about uh, building, right? building. So, this one is architecture for the so in old days, thousand years ago, several thousand years ago, they already have a houses. Small houses, not not houses, but ships also. So it's an architecture for architect for the and marine engineering usually goes on for engine to the ship, specializing in engine. When the engine is built, created, how many years ago? Engine? Mm -hmm. 200 years? 200 years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, around, yes. Uh, uh, Benz. 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 The car. Is the name of the person who created the diesel engine from Germany? Benz is, is around 150 years old. We don't know exactly the years, but around there. So, engine before that year or uh, period, the ships only use natural powers wind, wind, and roads. Wind and so, marine engineers started their work among less than 200 years. But ships have been to several, several thousand years ago. Roman, Egyptian war, right? It's about BC, 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 around that time. They already have a big, big war using ships in the Mediterranean Sea. Coast engineering, this is for the engineering for coast near the shore, port. Offshore engineering, it is uh, against the uh, onshore engineering. Onshore is land based. Offshore is far away, sea, more land. And fish farming, this is. Or the name is Kaka Bridge. For the ship building, this is design of whole structure and computer system. Whole structure is a uh, skin of the ship. We say this hull. Uh, when you make a building like this one, usually for the high line building, you start to make a steel, steel uh, structure first. Something like a bone structure of human body. They build out only steel pieces. And then put other things on top of the steel body. So I got a ship, some outer skin, and also inside some uh, strong uh, steel bodies, steel pillars and, and floors and beams. That is, we call this is pulse structure. 
And this one is usually goes into the solid mechanics part of the mechanical engineering. How strong is it? Because usually sheep is long enough. Strong by means that we say this is uh, uh, say slender, we say slender. Slender means this size is smaller comparing to the length. Sheep is like this, rather than this one. Mm -hmm. and this is a very short and full ships. <laughs> Most ships looks like this. And then it is easy to break down into two parts. The bending is very critical to the structure system of the ship. So for structural designers, and I told you that there will be a special gate, guest speaker, lecturer coming from Hyundai Heavy Industry. He was in Hyundai Heavy Industry for some years, but his major area is structure design. So you will see more. But comparing to the hydrodynamics, this is structure streets. And there is hydrodynamics only for the holes outside of the ship, wave and, and also pressure coming from water. And also, submarine is more important for. And then propulsion is for the uh, engine, engine and, and propeller. So there are several sectors inside the ship again. So, so. so marine vehicles such as surface vessel and uh, underwater vehicles. Okay. Engine. So this is marine engineering and the engine. Okay. Energy and mechanical systems. To use in mind people. It looks like a turbine. Steam turbine looks like for me. Steam turbine. Better than gas turbine. Looks like steam. She is basic. But come by seeing the size, you can say this is like a steam. Comparing to the human. And this is a large uh, diesel engine. You see from this picture that there is a person here and also a person here. So you see that this is a very big engine itself. Which like a building, right? But inside the ship, inside the ship. Large, large engine. Diesel. Diesel. The cylinder size is. So, and also there are, see, uh, in France, I guess, there are many passenger cars using diesel engines. And also, some years ago, Korea also, there is a popularity, popular for diesel engines. So many people, including myself, buy one diesel car. With the diesel engine, not so big. Right? Is that this one is very big, say one, two, three, four floor high building. And how many horsepower you can expect for this kind of engine diesel engine? Do you know how many horsepower for the car? For a normal car, it's uh, around the seventy and the one hundred ten. Around the hundred and say horsepower for passenger cars. This one. Two thousand? Two thousand. I have one hundred thousand. Hundred thousand more. <laughs> Fifty. Five hundred thousand. No. Fifty thousand. Probably the biggest like this. And also the uh, rotational speed, RPM, RPM. Yeah. Do you know how many RPMs your car, do you have car here? Yes. How many RPM you, you usually operating? 3,000. 3,000. 3,000. That is a normal speed of RPM. 
of working with this or not? We can. That's a hundred million. Right. Hundred. Not hundred. So depending on the size of the diesel engine, mm -hmm. because big trucks also have a lot of big larger diesel engine. This one is probably biggest diesel engine uh, on world. Mm -hmm. Hundred around speed of RPM engine itself. That's why they use a direct coupling to the propeller. <clears throat> No gearbox. Inside your car, there should be a gearbox. So you have a shift of gearbox. Right? Because it's a 2000 RPM, 3000 RPM, mm. the tire speed is not so high. Okay? So you need to have a gearbox to down. In this kind of things, you don't need to have a gearbox. Easier for the mechanical systems right? without the gearbox is very tough. Maintain positive. Good side engineering. Good side John, especially the port theory is port. Right. So I guess this one is uh, uh, at the beginning, say ten years ago, the Korean student or Korean. <laughs> Uh, Busan, Busan is a city. Have you ever been to Busan city? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Second largest city in Korea, South Korea, Busan, the port area, right? South is Korea. And it is big because of port of Korea. Busan is big. And all 10 years ago, they built the second port outside of a city. Because all the port is too close to the city center. Right? So, this is, was a construction site of new port of Busan. West side of the Busan city. Now it's full operation. Very complicated, congested, containers. And this one, I guess, this is coming from Japan. And this is an airport, but they feel in, oh, you, you may fly to Incheon Airport when you arrive in Korea. And Incheon Airport is similar to this one. Much bigger than this one, but they constructed the airport using an existing island, filling up more area. So of course, the engineering is sort of this port and airport. Near the ocean. Really? Almost right and then you can finish. So you need to shoot at the right questions. Right. Offshore engineering, far away from the ship, or no beach, offshore job, rather than coastal. Deep water. Looks like a uh, 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 oil or gas exploration. Facility because of the power here. Hey, sure. Hey, divot. Divot means say thousand meter. Water depth is one thousand meter. Very deep, right? Then you need to have drilling, drilling down. Starting from the one thousand deep water and then drilling, starting there. Okay? And then they drill more, say, 2,000 meters. We don't know, right? But usually, and try to find out oil or gas reservoir. So that is facility, and then we'll see more. Of it. So only for the exploration to find out here, no. Here, no, here, no. And then once you find a big reservoir, it's good. And then there will be another facility coming to production. So this one is only for drilling and exploration. Drilling and exploration. So there are different kinds of facilities. 
energy. Wind power, solar power, wave power. Question. No question. Good. What sound was good? Any good sound? That's good. Then we will see next Tuesday. Ready? See you next Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you.